Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video review. I am the Tech Gooch, and I am back with another router review. Uh, it's been a little while, um, but Tenda actually gave me a contact me and asked me if they, I'd be willing to review one of their routers. Of course, I said sure. Why not? Uh, and so they sent this guy over, and I uh, kind of gave it a thorough review. I kind of used it as an access point, uh, Wi-Fi repeater, I guess. Uh, and as my main router as well to see how well it actually uh, utilized my network and how much it was different from well the last little while I've my main router has been my Apple uh, Airport Extremes so I have the AC Airport Extreme which is an AC 1900 router as well this performed about just as good actually as my Airport Extremes were now I will say that my the Apple products are very 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 easy to set up uh, I can't say anything hard about this. To be honest, it was very, very simple. Uh, a lot simpler than like Netgear routers for their interface, for their web platform. Uh, and I probably will show a little bit of that. Um, pretty slim for its size. Uh, so nice and slim this way. It does come with uh, three LAN ports and a single WAN port. Uh, USB, uh, which is actually USB 3, which is pretty awesome. A lot of routers don't have that. And then a uh, power. The nice thing is it does have a power button, so I can change that. Has your WPS uh, security switch up here, and then your Wi-Fi on and off up here, and then a little reset button that you can reset the whole router. Now, when it comes, I put this back on actually to kind of show you. It comes with your default uh, system name and, and security password, which of course, if you're anybody, anybody, change that to something else. But uh, for easy use, it does come with that sticker. It is listed on the back of the router as well. So in that case, if you know when you pull this off, and you, the nice thing is, is you can pull this guy off, and then put this. I didn't try. Yeah, you can remove it. So remove that, and if you kept it as the default, uh, then you can put that in some kind of secure book or somewhere, so you always have that easily handy without getting to the back of the router, right? So this is a lot easier to deal with. Nice thing they give you two copies of that. Uh, it does come with, of course, the power adapter. In this case, it is a, a brick power adapter on this side to do the, the inversion back to DC power. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these guys. I love having that built into the router rather than built into the power cord. I know there are advantages both ways, but that is kind of an annoyance because this takes up a lot of room if you have a surge protector, right? It's going to take up one of those large spots. So I'm um, not a big fan of that, but that's half products have these and half the other way so i can't i'm not going to knock the router because of that but that would be one thing I, I don't like about this so if i'm tenda that's the one thing that i would recommend is looking at changing where this big inverter is and then they also give you in the box of course all the instructions on how to set it up uh how to use it in different ways and then a standard ethernet cable you know nothing fancy um, of course, I have tons of Ethernet cables, so I didn't use that at all. It is an AC1900 router. Uh, it does have the three positionable antennas, uh, so you can you know change where you want them to point. Um, pretty simple, I guess. The bottom of the router, the stand portion, does not come attached. You have to attach that from after you open it up and to get it out. But other than that, it's not that bad of a looking router at all. I really love it. It set up very very easily. Uh, I will say this, not nearly as many feature-rich pieces within the setup as like a Netgear router does. So Netgear is a lot more fine-tuned, I can change a lot more things, I can set a lot more things within the user interface. Can't do that with this so much. They were definitely going off after the audience of quick and easy, probably 80% of the market that don't care about all that advanced stuff. They want to plug it in and go, right? This guy definitely like, is like that. After I, I got it sent to me, I did a little research on this one. And it was, last year at least, it was one of, uh, I think it was PC Mag's top 10 routers uh, for last year. So, um, pretty awesome. I would definitely tell you to head over there and check out their review there. I'll see if I can't post the link down in the description. So, uh, But pretty cool there, of course. There's always goods and bads to every router out there. Uh, but for the price tag that this guy sells at, you're going to pay a lot less than with than uh, a competing large name brands router so um yeah i'll tell you what i'll boot it i'll, I'll get this guy booted back up i'll connect it back to it and i'll kind of show you what the interface looks like that way you have an idea because that's more than anything else uh but just before i do that speed test wise it was just as good if 
maybe slightly slower for throughput for multiple connections, but I didn't really notice it. I would just have to say, you know, based, you know, of course, based on the feel, oh man, I paid twice as much for this router. I would think that would have faster. Uh, speed wise, I was actually impressed by this guy. So, but yeah, let's get it booted up and then I'll show you that. All right, so to keep this a little more lively, I'm gonna have my fingers here so I can point at things. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and up my Wi-Fi and actually connect to, I'm gonna connect to the 5G signal that Tenda's putting out on their router. And using the little sheet that came off my router, since I don't have to use be at the back side of it. Look, it's a D1X9BTJD. Sure, I'll remember the network for now. Requires a invalid password. Oh, I must have typed it in wrong. TJD. I must have put a lowercase where it was uppercase. Yep, so now I'm connected. My bad. So we'll open up Safari here. And we're just going to head over to, it's probably 192.168.10.1, is that right? Uh, I can't remember what it is. Let's find out. So here's how an easy way to find out if you don't want to go into the instruction booklet. We can go to our network settings here, at least in the, the guy here. Hit the advanced button. TCP IP. So we're router is zero one. So one six eight zero one. So I've had several routers lately, so So now we're at the quick setup wizard. We're gonna hit start. And it's gonna figure out my connection point. Now in this case right now I have it just set up so I can show you what the the guy looks like. Um, let's hit continue or skip actually since we're gonna do that. This is where the next setup is where you can actually change the actual password itself. I'm just gonna keep it wh what it is for now. Oh, uh, password ten. Why not? I don't know. So now the router itself is resetting. And uh, once it resets, we'll connect back up. So once it came back online, I just put in my password, uh, password 10 that I made. And now we're back. Now we're in the actual setup procedure here. So it's saying the wireless is good to go, but it's not connected to the internet. This is obviously going to tell you your internet status and give you information like that. Right now it's not connected to the internet. It'll tell you how many connected devices there are, things like that. Um, it's actually pretty accurate, so it actually works really, really good. Um, internet settings, we can go into here. Uh, we can change the DNS, things like that. Uh, wireless settings, we can change uh, Wi-Fi names, passwords. So, for instance, what is my SSID of my routers for both the 2.4.4 and the 5G? Um, so that's how it works. Wi-Fi schedule, uh, you can actually have it so it uh, synchronizes to, to internet time. We can do wireless repeating. We can do channel and bandwidth so we can actually mix things down, uh, change the channel of each of the routers. Uh, signal conditioning. For both the you can turn it off low, low standard or high I guess for all three of those and then WPS enabled guest network if you want to have a guest network you can you can do that here smart power this one's uh, pretty cool it'll so it's designed to put the router automatically in power save mode so you can actually save it, actual power um, I don't tend to use things like this because I tend to use my routers 24 hours a day so uh, but for most people, there's actually be a, a smart thing to, to look into. Uh, USB, so what you want to use that USB port. You can do printer, you can do file sharing. Uh, VPN, if you want to connect to a VPN, so server or client-based. Advanced settings. Um, several things, I mean, pa parent control. Uh, you can do remote web so you can control your router from outside of your actual home network itself. The standard stuff you're going to get from most things. Um, and then we can go to system settings itself. Um, auto maintenance is pretty cool. Uh, it'll automatically reboot. So the nice thing about it is if you've ever had a router before that slowed down after so far and you'd so long of use and then you'd have to reboot it, this you can have it set to it. So every day once there is no little or no traffic on your web, it, the router will automatically reboot itself at least once a day. So pretty awesome i definitely would recommend the auto maintenance mode that's one of my favorite features actually of the router uh, you can do firmware upgrade directly in here as well um so basic things like that so that's the the gist of the 
I guess the the software here, or the the web portal, pretty basic. Nothing so scary advanced, and most people are going to understand what most of these things are. So if I go to like for instance, uh, let's go back down to advanced settings. If I click on one of these, so smart LED, what is that? LED control. Do I want to keep the lights on? Do I keep them off? Or do I want to have them timed? Um, it's going to tell you what most of these these things are. Um, if you don't know what they are, you can obviously at least Google them and figure them out. So, but that's that is the Tenda Wi-Fi router access portal or setup portal. So as you see, pretty simple setup, pretty simple portal to connect to it to get everything properly set up for it. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and post a link to this guy so you can take a peek at it on Amazon. Um, and maybe I'll, I'll see if I can't post a link directly to their website too so you can see information about that. But I want to say thanks to the guys over at Tenda for sending the router over to me because I will be I was impressed by it. I really, really was, for, especially for what it is and for the price you actually sell it for. So um, post below if you have any other questions for me, uh, as well as subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. Thanks for checking us out. Thanks for all the support for all my followers. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.